Hello and welcome back to Blue Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of my new treadmill. Why do I need a treadmill? It is piping outside there and I need to train uh, for, for marathon and uh, I can only get up early in the morning because in the summertime here it's 90 degrees. I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can buy this and see what the latest price is on it. If you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe. We bought a treadmill and it's called a Nordic Track and it's a 6.5S, a T-series. So uh, I've done another video earlier assembling it. Very simple to assemble. What I normally do before I do a video is I read questions that people are asking. The first question they all ask is, how do I turn off iFit? Now iFit usually comes with a, a it, it's a subscription, but you get free one and then you have to sign up for it with your credit card. iFit is a fantastic program, but today we're not going to do iFit. Without iFit, we still have 20 workouts built into the machine. So you want to turn off your iFit. If it tells you up on the screen you need to turn it off, you hold down the iFit button here and just hold it down for 30 seconds and it turns it off and you don't have to keep doing that. I will take you through all the menus in a moment, uh, but I will show you the, the size of it. I'm five foot eight, so this is how big it is. It's a, it, it's a big machine. What everybody wants to know when they buy a treadmill is the width of the belt. And the belt is 20 inches wide, it's supposed to be, and it is 20 inches wide. And the track, the part that you run on, not the whole length of the belt, is 53 inches, which is 1.35 millimeters, and 18, uh, 20 inches, of course, is 510. So we can do the incline manually over here. I can go straight all the way up to 10 degrees by pressing this, and I'm going to do that now for you. So that took a little bit of time to go all the way up to there, but you won't be doing that during your, if you do one of the programs, which I'll show you in the moment, you can do the intensity or the incline or the speed or the calorie one uh, of, the, of the 20 uh, workouts, uh, it will go up and down a little bit between your program. Uh, so uh, as well as changing the speed, like starting off slow and getting you all them programs, I will show you in a moment. But uh, for now, we will let this back down. So as I said, uh, the, the incline goes from zero to 10 degrees. The speed in miles per hour, or you can do it in metric, or you can have a metric screen like which I got instead, you can change it here in the settings. Uh, it does 10 miles per hour uh, or 16 kilometers per hour. Uh, in the manual mode, you will, you, if you press the incline button, it goes up a half a degree. So it's 0.5. Start, and starts off at one, like this. Now, I am not super fit at the moment. I do speed walking, so this is very good for me for speed walking. I can bring this up to I can bring this up to 3.7 miles per hour. I can bring it, there's five miles per hour, which is nice, right? It's okay for me. And then always remember where your stop button is. By right, you should wear the safety one. Wear that onto your clothes, and then when this one pulls out, it turns off. Uh, I'm not doing that because I'm doing the video for you here, and I'm going back and forth. Also, when you're on a standstill, if you hold your two hands here like this, now it's measuring my pulse. It, you must make sure there's no plastic on these. It's measuring my pulse at the moment, and I'm at rest at 65. I was up at 125 a short time ago. I'd done a 30-minute program on this. These two consoles on the left and the right, these are great for your water bottle. You can put a big bottle in if you want to. Uh, you can put in your headphones or whatever. You can put your cell phone in there or whatever uh, in these because they are quite big. They're about four inches by four inch on the bottom approximately. They are not exactly square. So uh, from here to here, it's pretty wide. It's a big machine. On the outside to the outside is 34. Now when you are putting this in your place, you do need to leave room on the side for it to jump off 
or this side. But you need to get used of doing that, okay? So that's how you get off if it's going too fast and then hit stop. If you do that, if you can do that, like that. That's why these are here on the side and they're quite wide. So the height of the machine off the ground is high as well. So this is on its, uh, this is when it's, it's 56 inches high. Even though it's not a professional uh, machine, it's built uh, a lot better than most of the homeowner ones. And this is certainly, uh, that's why I bought this one rather than the cheaper ones. Now I'm going to take you through all the menus on this now, and uh, I will bring the camera in here. We will put a pizza across there in case it accidentally starts, and I will take you through all the menus here. This is this, uh, what you see in front of you. I'm going to tell you what everything is, and then we'll zoom in on this so you will see it better because it's uh, a lot of uh, light in the background there. Now, depend depending on whether you get a metric one or not, it will be different along here. But we can change it. We can change it from metric to, they say English, which is miles, and metric, which is kilometers and meters. So uh, the, the workouts are along here. I'll show you them in a moment. And uh, the incline button is here. And oh, for, this is for manual. If you press manual, you can uh, set this in and set this one and press start and, and uh, Remember where to stop is. Always remember to have your safety one uh, wi uh, wire in here. Right. Now we're zoomed. Now we're zoomed in uh, a little bit more, so I will be able to show you the settings. So when we press the settings button, then it says English here. So English is going to be miles now. Incline up and down. You have to calibrate this in case your floor is slightly off level. So we just go onto that and we press at the incline one of the incline buttons down here one of the incline buttons down here, up or down, and it will go all the way up and all the way down itself. I'm not going to do that because I have my camera here behind. We can change the contrast by using uh, the button down here as well, the incline button, so we can go down to nine or eight or whatever. Now, so that's all the real settings in it. There's a demo mode in it after that. We'll make sure the demo is off. And, and then there are, are 20 workouts built into the machine. And they are accessed by these four uh, buttons here by calorie, intensity, incline, and speed. Now, some of these programs, these are completely, I've, I've done one this morning. For instance, I've done, in, uh, I've done intensity. This one is 245 calories in 30 minutes, and it's a distance of 1.5. So that one should be easy enough. I done this one this morning for someone that, uh, this one, the maximum speed on intensity two was, you can see the graph all along here. So every two minutes, this one changes. So the elevation will go up and down as you go through the pattern here. This is the highest one here. That one there was four miles per hour. See where the peak there? So that flashes as you're going through, through the program of the 30 minutes the whole way across the screen. It said I had over 200 calories on mine. I don't know why. When you, press the, when you select your intensity, you have to press start then. It starts off very slowly here in the beginning, and then it goes up, and the incline, the highest incline on this uh, one was 60 degrees. So it was 1.42 uh, miles. I, I, I done it in kilometers because I train in kilometers. So I had a, but I have it set in miles because lots of people will use it for miles. Your speed there, as it says, is four miles per hour is the maximum speed. It will go down and up. It will be low in the beginning. It will get high intensity. And, and then uh, towards the end, it goes up fast here, as I said. And then on the very end, the last one minute, it slows down to about one and a half or two miles per hour. So we can go on to the incline button and it's the same. As you can see, this is a 20 minute one and it's uh, 0.77 of a mile. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's 122 calories in 20 minutes. Uh, that one seems okay as well, we could do that. But start on the lower ones first and then the next incline one is 20 and it's one, you can see the distance that they're going and then you can, but always remember where the stop button is down below and you, you hit the stop button if it's going too fast or you hold onto the bars and you put your feet on either side. This one looks like it's going to go really fast up here. So 
I wouldn't, uh, <laughs> the speed is six miles per hour, as you can see, the maximum speed there at that one, and then this one, uh, incline, uh, incline four. So you have to, you, 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 when you are starting off, I, I, I advise you to go on this intensity two on this one, for the simple reason it's not going to go too fast for you. Now, uh, the, this is the iFit button, so if it, if, if it asks you to log in and you don't want to log in, you just hold that button down for about 15, 20 seconds. But uh, if you have I, uh, iFit, it's a fantastic program, but it, it, it's subscription. But you have free one in the beginning. So anyway, on the left and the right, that's, uh, you can use these buttons if you want to for incline, or you can use the arrow up and arrow down and the plus for the speed. Line goes down. I have the tripod here at the back, so I'm not going to. Uh, it goes down a half a degree for every press, or you can take the shortcut from there. Now it's on level ground. You can plug your music player in here. You can pl plug it in here and play your music through the two speakers here. And. Uh, there's not, that's all, the, it is not cluttered. You have the enter and you have the display. What you want to see on your display. Speed or lap or calories or incline. This is when you are, uh, that's the lap one. You can play around with them, whichever one you like for yourself. So, that's my review of the Nordic Track uh, T-Series, uh, the 6.5S, there's 7.5, 8.5 and 9.5, and the 6.5 SI as well. But they are mostly the same except for the screen. We are, uh, my wife is using this as well, Eden is using, and the other video where we assembled it. Uh, if you're handy at all, you can assemble. This takes only about 30 minutes to assemble. Uh, it took me longer because I made the video and in part one you can see the video where I put this together. I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can buy this and see what the latest price is on it. So, thank you very, very much for watching. If you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe.